Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 16. Inside this video session, guys, we will discuss about page templates hierarchy in WordPress. In the last video, we had discussed all about front page as well as home.php file. About those files, we understood clearly. Now, this time, we are going to understand all about page templates. Now, if we go to this image, now inside here, all we understood about this home.php as well as frontpage.php. Now, this time, we are going to understand about this custom-template.php, page slug, page id as well as page.php. First of all, I am going to create this custom-template.php. Back to editor. And one more thing that these are the page templates which is going to read by any pages what we have developed in our site. It means that right now as we can see that we have a home URL, we have about, we have services what we are seeing here, we have a contact page. So all those page templates or layouts are used by these URLs. So how it is going to use we will understand shortly inside this video. Back to editor. Now go inside this theme and inside this theme I am to create a file something with the any user defined name. It does not mean that we need to write like custom template.php. We can any we can give any name to this file. So now I am going to give let's say sample template.php. Pressing enter, go inside this. What I will do simply I am to make a multi-line comment symbol go here let's say template name equal to let's say custom template or simply let's say custom page template and what I will do I am to make simply h1 tag so let's h1 welcome to custom template page now if I save these changes this is the template what we have created and if I go here back to admin panel go to pages section and if I click on add new or either any of the pages like about click on add it and now inside this we will find all about this template section if suppose we don't have any template then this section will be missing. How can we actually understand? If I get rid of all these things, save this file and as we know that right now there is no template defined because in WordPress everything is understandable in WordPress by means of comments. So if we save this change, go here, reload this page and this time inside this page we don't have any template section. It is because we have removed that. Now if I make undo, this is the template by means of comment we have defined and inside WordPress it is useful. So if we save this change, again reload this page. Go to template section. Here we have the template. Now if I click on this drop down, this is our custom page template. It means that if we click on this template, click on update, if we go inside this template hierarchy, so while running any page, it means as we can see here that is this is about, it's a page here. So while running any page, first of all, it is going to find all about if I make some zoom inside this image, first of all, it is going to find any of the template we have defined or not. If suppose we don't have any template file, any of the file like page slug, page id, page.php, so by default it is going to use index.php. So right now, as we know that this file is using index.php. And here as we can see that inside this template section, right now inside this contact page, it is using index.php. Now this time we have changed all about the about page and this about page use is using all about this custom page template and inside this template we have 
or sample comment. Now if you save this change, go here, click on this about us link and as we can see that this is the content what we have provided for this template page. Now again, if we go here and if I copy all the codes from this index.php file, go inside this sample template, pasting it here, Control shift i to format that code, save these changes, click on about again and inside this template section we can see that this page is using sample, sample template.php because inside this about us page we have done about template setting. If we go inside this all pages, click on contact. So right now as we know that inside this contact page we are not set any custom template so that's why it is using index.php but when we will do once time all about the setting of this custom page template click on update now as the as per the template hierarchy priority it is going to use this custom template instead of using index.php go here reload this page and this time it is using sample template.php now back to editor I'm going to remove this template from here so what I will do simply back to folder structure go here inside this WP content go to themes bootstrap theme and what I will do I'm going to cut this template back to our root and I will make a folder called resource inside this resource I am pasting it here and this time this template has been deleted from our theme now as we know that that template does not exist anymore inside this so if I reload this page it is using index.php now because the template what we have set from the admin panel is now deleted so as per this template hierarchy the next file we will search inside this called page-slug.php first it will search for this file and as we know that this file does not exist now next it is going to look look for this file something page-slug.php now inside this case we have contact us page and inside this contact page the slug we have called contact as we can see from this URL also if we go here click on this contact page and here it is it's a page slug so what I will do go here now inside this site this is the page slug for contact page slug for the about page slug for the services page if I open that now this is all about the page slug so what I will do if you go here and create a file something with the name of page hyphen slug dot php as the template hierarchy name suggests that so in this case the slug we will have called the contact for the contact us page it's a slug so what I will do let's say page hyphen it's contact dot php pressing enter now if I make a single let's say h1 tag inside this welcome to contact page save this change go here and before running this site means reloading it is using index.php what I will do if I press enter this using now well means contact page this is because as per the template hierarchy custom template does not exist then it will search for this file and this file exists so that's why it is using this page-slug.php instead of this default fallback file now let's say that if I rename this file to something else like page-contact-old.php or firstly we need to understand one more thing that is inside this file if you go inside this index.php copy all the content go inside this page contact putting it here save these changes reload this page 
and this time inside this page template we can see that it is using means this is the page which is using page-contact.php but now what I will do next I'm going to rename this file to something let's say old.php and as per the template hierarchy this file also does not exist then this does not exist not exist then it will look and search for page-id.php here id indicates all about our page id so while creating any page inside wordpress inside this url if i copy this url back to slide pasting here and inside this url we will find all about our post id that is 21 this is also termed as our page id so if we make all about page hyphen 21 then it is going to use this 21 so if we go here and let's create a file inside here something with the name go inside our theme click here and let's say page hyphen 21.php this is the page id of our contact us page what i will do copy all the contents go here pasting it here and if we go here click on this services first this services page will search for this custom template we don't have any template this search for page slug it means page hyphen services dot php it also dot does not exist it will search for services page id and if we go inside this all pages click on services and inside this we will have the page id called 18 so it will search all about page hyphen 18 dot php and this does also does not exist now finally it will search for page dot php and it is also not accessed so finally the services page is using index dot php as we can see here inside this index dot php template now what i will do if i click on contact this time our contact page is now searched and the page template we will have called page-21.php and 21 here indicates all about the page id but let's say that in the final we don't have this file as well so if i rename at as old.php inside from this template hierarchy this file also does not exist now finally it will look for page.php so go here inside this if we make a file called page.php which is used for every pages because every page will go search for all these and finally go inside this page.php and if these four pages dot not does not exist then it will finally run for this index.php what i will do if i copy all the contents from this file pasting it here go here and if i reload this this is using finally the page.php file again if we click on this about it is also using page.php because it is satisfying not all these templates it is satisfying for this page.php so finally guys inside this video we understood all about our page templates hierarchy in wordpress step by step we understood about that how these templates are useful while running any of the page template or any of the page inside our wordpress site so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day